Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and I'm going to show you another way to use the die cut word tab or toppers. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a clear divider using laminate. Um, if you have a heavier laminate, this is 5 mil. It may work just with the 5 mil, but I want mine to be extra sturdy. So what I'm going to do is take this 3 mil laminate first and just run it through the laminator just the way it is. And I'm going to make these dividers. I think I'm going to go ahead and make them for an ace. Um, I'm going to make I'm going to stick with the same size. I'm going to make these for a personal size also. So let's run this through. Hopefully my laminator is hot enough. I've had it heating up for quite a while. And this method should, would probably work with two. Um, if you didn't have a 5 mil and a 3 mil, you could probably just use two 3 mil. It should still work fine. And I may be doing a little overkill with the thickness, but I just want it to be really sturdy and not flimsy. So I got a little air bubble in this one. I don't know why. Maybe I hadn't let this heat up long enough but I think I can work around that we'll see I'm going to go ahead and trim this down to the size that, that I need and hopefully the air bubble won't interfere too much I need it to be six and three quarter inches tall and that air bubble is right on the edge of that Okay, and then let's see if I can get another piece out of this one. Six and three quarter inches. Because I'm going to do three of them. Okay. And I'm going to trim off the rounded edge. Or should I just leave that? And I want to trim it off so that all our rounding will be the same. Okay, so now I'm going to trim this down. Even though personal size is three and three quarters, um, I'm going to do a little bit bigger and go three and seven eighths. So there's our piece. Cut these down to three and seven eighths. Cut off the excess. So I have my three pieces that are trimmed down to the size that I need. So I'm going to line these up. I think I'm going to line them up this time. I'm still going to go ahead and put them in the center. So just to keep it from sliding around, I'm going to add a little adhesive on the back. A clear adhesive should work fine. If you're worried about that showing, uh, you can actually just try and do it. without the adhesive. Let's line this up as best as I can. So that's what it would look like. Okay, now I'll go ahead and do these others. I'm just, I'm not running the adhesive all the way across, just enough to hold it in place. And you might want to just make sure you're using a clear one. I think this one is blue, but it's okay. <laughs> and I've also found that these microfiber cloths, like you can get them from the Dollar Tree, are coming really handy with making sure that the laminate stays clean. 
and free of dust or debris. So now I'm going to put that, put these in. the pouch Let's take my cloth and make sure it's free of paper pieces and any junk <laughs> so now I'm just going to run this through and hopefully we won't get any air bubbles this time. And now I'm just going to run this through one more time. Just to make sure everything is sealed extra good. And see this is what I was saying. You might want to make sure you use a clear adhesive to do that maybe a glue dot okay so you will basically do the same thing as far as trimming these out as we did in the previous video that I'm linking above I'll take my paper trimmer and just go ahead and cut these in half leaving plenty of room okay so this is what we've got and again I line this the edge of the inside piece of laminate up to the white edge of the paper trimmer and just trim I don't think there's really an issue with this one as far as breaking the seal because it's plastic and it's all sealed together but it still gives us a very nice clean edge all the way around same size all the way around keeps it neat so. Okay, for this last one, I want to keep this extra piece of acetate, so I'll just go ahead and cut as close to the edge as possible. Still keeping my water, so I still have this to use for another project or another tab divider, even though it's the heavy weight. It serves the same purpose as a clear acetate. So here are my three. I'm gonna go ahead and trim around the top and manually round my corners. Okay, so now they're all trimmed up. All I need to do is punch my holes and I'll be done. Okay, so I don't know what I was thinking when I tried to punch the holes with the hole punch, but it does it did not work. I don't suggest doing that. I don't know why I did it. Um and I lost some of the footage after I finished fooling around with that. But it did get stuck in there. Which I should have known better. But anyway, so what I did was just take one of the inserts or the other dashboards that I have in here. And just line it up using my Sharpie. I drew the 
place where the punch needed to be. Then I just took this regular, oops, this regular old Dollar Tree hole punch and punched my holes as you can see. So, and these will go right in here just the same as these other dashboards do. I'm just going to plop them all on here so you can see. But they all will go right on the rings. And you can just go in and put your pages in between. So that's how you make the Word Tab Topper Clear Dividers. Um, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.